I think I literally have mastered these oxtails, y'all. My husband wants them so much that I have become a freaking pro at this point. So y'all know what happens in the beginning. We have to clean them with some lime. Or y'all could just really clean them however you want to clean them. And just make sure that water rinses until it's clear, okay? So once we do that, we're going to season them with all these seasonings. And it's okay if you heavy seasoning. We are not measuring in this meal, okay, y'all? Because once the food get into the liquids, it's, it's not even, all this seasoning ain't even going to make no difference. Because it's going to be kind of like a, a gravy, soupy kind of meal, okay? So everything y'all see on the screen, use it. And then just use a little bit of browning because a little bit goes a long way. And I did use three teaspoons of minced garlic, okay? And then I just mixed it all up. Mix it and get the meat real coated on each side and all the way around, okay? And I cut up some green onions and I got some thyme. And I let that marinate for about two or three hours. Once I did that, I took it out, got my pot ready. Put a, little, a couple of teaspoons of butter. That's about two teaspoons of butter and some olive oil. And then we're just going to sear it on both sides. Now it's been about 10 minutes. We're going to go ahead and flip it over. And it should be caramelized like this on the other side, as you can see. Now we're just going to remove the meat. We're gonna toss in the onion first. So y'all see me scraping it? It's okay. It's not burnt. That's what. That's the good stuff. It's it's not burnt. So we got our onions in there, and now we added our vegetables. We got our red bell pepper, green bell pepper, and tomatoes. Okay, I got like two tomatoes. Cut up into more. big chunks, and then I added measure. one cup of wine and just a little bit extra for good measure. Now and then we just gonna go ahead and mix that up. And then I'm just gonna put the lid on until it comes to a boil. Once it comes to a boil like this, we gonna start seasoning and mostly with season the it, Italian seasonings, seasonings, just like the oregano, Italian seasoning, just like mostly a little bit like more pepper. Um, and you'll see that. And so once I get all that done, you, well, I love soy sauce. I'm always adding more soy sauce and Worcestershire sauce. So once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and mix that up. And then you want to add a half a cup of flour. Okay. This is where it's going to get thick. This is where you're going to be basically making like your gravy, basically. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and add in the beef broth. So now you should see it starting to thin up. The meat back in. Ooh. I like that. So at this point when I added the meat, I didn't, I went ahead and I removed the thyme because I didn't feel like fishing it out later. And then I added a teaspoon of this better than bouillon. Every 30 minutes, we're going to come check on it. I'm going to turn it to low. So we're just going to check it. Make sure every time you check it, you're scraping that bottom because your meat sometimes gets stuck to the bottom. And so we're back again, checking it again. And you're just going to check your meat, see if the meat is starting to fall off. And scraping the bottom. So now I think it's done. Okay, this is how you know, okay? This is how you know if it's done. When you do that and your meat just fall cleans off, that is how you know, guys, okay? So y'all see that? Super easy, all right? Okay, y'all, so you can pair this with some butter beans or whatever you like. I ended up pairing it with some red beans and rice and some baked cabbage. And I will tag the link for the baked cabbage below in the description if you would like the recipe for that.